Three days after Lai Ching Day's inauguration, Beijing's unwarned of Taiwan military exercise covered Kinmen and Matsu and other outer islands for the first time. China called the exercise a powerful punishment against Taiwan independence separatist forces. The Eastern Theater of the People's Liberation Army of China, PLA, announced that it will hold the Joint Sword 2024 a military exercise in the waters around Taiwan from May 23rd to 24. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, said that its Eastern Theater will organize the theater's land, sea, air, and rocket forces in the waters around Taiwan and Kinmen and Matsu to launch a two-day Joint Sword 2024. A military exercise starting at 7.45 Beijing time on May 23rd. The exercise focused on joint naval and air combat readiness patrols, fighting for control of the battlefield and striking important targets. Li Shi, spokesman for the Eastern Theater of the People's Liberation Army, said that the exercise was a strong punishment for Taiwan independent separatist forces and a serious warning to external forces to interfere in provocations. Unlike previous exercises, official information was released only after the start of this exercise. Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense said it would closely monitor the development of the situation and dispatch troops in a timely manner to respond to the exercises and firmly defend national sovereignty and freedom and democracy. Taiwan's presidential office issued a statement saying it regretted Beijing's unilateral military provocations that threaten Taiwan's democratic freedoms and regional peace and stability. Chen Binhua, spokesman for the Taiwan Affairs Office of the State Council of the People's Republic of China, said at the inauguration of Taiwanese President Lai ching te that the Taiwan independence stance expressed in Lai's inaugural speech was a serious provocation to the One China principle and would push Taiwan into the danger of fighting each other. Therefore, the outside world believes that this exercise is a response to Lai King Day's inaugural speech, and it has a strong sense of intimidation. A map of the exercise area released by the PLA shows that the exercise will circle the main island of Taiwan and will cover, for the first time, some of Taiwan's outer islands close to Chinese mainland. Some analysts pointed out that the military exercise was a complete attack on Taiwan. Dr. Cheng Chi Tung of the National Defense Security Research Institute, a think tank of Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense, said that the exercise was not a surprise to the outside world. He told reporters that in fact, as early as a few days ago, the Chinese Communist Party repeatedly expressed severe criticism of the Lai King Day government. And when Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi was talking with his Russian counterpart at the SCO, he turned his tone to speak on the Taiwan issue, which was attacking first with culture and then with force. He believes that this is the consistent strategy of the Communist Party of China, from the 1996 Taiwan Strait Missile Crisis to the Huan Taiwan exercise after Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. It is all in this context, in order to maximize the effect of internal and external propaganda. Zhuang Jiaying an associate professor at the Department of Political Science at the National University of Singapore, explained that the summer season is usually the peak of military exercises, and the exercises may be of great concern for the scale of the exercises and the psychological pressure they can cause in Taiwan. In addition, it is worth observing how close the PLA exercise is to the military bases of Japan and the Philippines in the vicinity of Taiwan and whether it will cut off the network and military communications affecting Taiwan's outer islands and the island. Correspondents and analysts in Taipei stated that, firstly, this is the first time that China has simulated a full-scale attack, rather than an economic blockade as in 2022. And for the first time, it has targeted outlying islands close to China's coast. Military analysts also note two other points about today's exercises. First, the fact that the exercises were unannounced. Beijing confirmed these messages only after the start of the operation. The 2022 exercise began after a warning was issued. Second, 
Analysts said the number 2024A used in this exercise suggests that it could be the first in a series of exercises this year. It was said that the exercises were all around Taiwan if you looked at the map provided by the People's Liberation Army. Their message here is, We can lock down that place if we want to. As a result, we can block the entry of supplies and potentially force the government to capitulate. Another thing that was tested in these exercises was the invasion, since amphibious landing craft and rockets were involved. Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense responded that their military was on high alert and that they were vigorously gathering intelligence at this time. What they mean is that if the PLA is preparing to invade Taiwan, and this is a drill, then we can see what they will do. In the future, we can be prepared because it helps us to prepare. The PLA's deterrence operations are likely to continue and escalate Zhang Zhidong, believes that with China's frequent use of grey conflict military exercises, its deterrent effect is decreasing, so in the future it cannot be ruled out that Beijing will use small-scale military attacks on targets on the outer islands to increase its military intimidation force. Christopher Sharman, director of the China Maritime Academy of the U.S. Naval War College, it's Chinese that the PLA's dubbing the exercise Lianjian 2024A represents a continuation of Beijing's all-round coercive pressure on Taiwan. The exercise was scheduled in line with the PLA's previous drills in the Taiwan Strait, but appeared to have been deliberately scheduled a few days after President Lai Ching Duck's inauguration. This exercise is the first test, and there's definitely more to come and it's going to be more cyclical and intense. According to Shalman, this is not only a message of military resolve to the Taipei audience, but also a message from within the People's Republic of China about the steps taken by the PLA to achieve Xi Jinping's goal of military modernization. In addition, it is also a warning signal to countries inside and outside the region not to interfere in China's efforts to eventually achieve reunification with Taiwan. Chinese state media described the military drills as a response to Monday's inaugural speech by Taiwan's new president, Lai ching Te. It condemned him in very harsh terms because Lai ching Te, in his inaugural speech, called on Beijing to stop threatening Taiwan and called for peace between the two sides of the strait. For example, CCTV described Mr. Lai's speech as a complete recognition of Taiwan independence and extremely harmful to peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said his speech was unashamed. However, military sources say such large-scale military exercises were planned well before Monday's inauguration. Military exercises of this magnitude require months of preparation. Moreover, Beijing's response to military exercises is not surprising to Taiwan's new government. Sources, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said that the scene being played out was something they had prepared beforehand. There are four main figures in China's list of Taiwan independence criminals. First is the late former Taiwanese President Li Tung Hui, followed by former Democratic Progressive Party President Chen Shui-bian, then Tsai Ing-wen, and current President Lai ching te It is clear that President Lai immediately became the most annoying of them all. In a recent commentary, China Central Television criticized Lai for promoting the two-state theory. Disagreements and arguments are everyday activity. The Chinese government's threat to use force against Taiwan is a dangerous and reckless move that undermines regional stability and security. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, 2022. The People's Liberation Army's military exercises around Taiwan are a clear escalation of tensions and a grave threat to the region. Japanese Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi, 2022. China's aggressive behavior towards Taiwan is a serious concern for the international community. We urge Beijing to cease its provocations and respect Taiwan's sovereignty. EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs Josep Borrell, 2022 
China's military threats against Taiwan are unacceptable and a violation of the principles of peaceful coexistence and non-aggression. We demand that China cease its aggressive behavior and respect the right of the Taiwanese people to self-determination. Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen 2022 China has been increasingly assertive in its claims over Taiwan, which it considers to be a part of its territory. In recent years, China has stepped up its military activities around Taiwan, including large-scale naval exercises and the deployment of advanced military systems. The U.S. and other countries have criticized China's behavior, which they see as a threat to regional stability and security. The situation is highly sensitive, with the U.S. and other countries providing military aid to Taiwan and criticizing China's behavior. The international community is closely watching the situation, with many countries urging China to cease its aggressive behavior and respect Taiwan's sovereignty. Mao said returning Taiwan to China is the homework of the today's generation, hope to see peaceful world than the worst war. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, share, like, and write your comment in the comment sections, because I have a dream to be the best YouTuber with knowledge.